science says there's enough similarity between us and living apes that it can postulate that at some point in the distance past we both emerged from a common ancestor and developed and evolved. What does Torah have to say about this business of us having this similarity with apes? So science studies existing apes, science studies all the fossils we found, which there's about 17 different kinds of species of things that existed in the past that had some similarity to us. And they postulate that over time, things evolved and changed and eventually uh, we came out as humans. What does the Torah have to say about all this? Well, the Torah is crystal clear. Each kind was made separately. So there's no evolution at the, at the big species level. There's changes and accommodations, but not at the big species. Each kind was created separately. However, in the mystical tradition, we have quite a bit of information about the design process of all this. We're told in Kabbalah that there are four fundamental levels. We have what we would call colloquially rocks, vegetation, animals, and humans. We have these kind of four different layers. Secondly, Kabbalah says that between each two layers, there's an intermediary that has some of the features of the previous layer and the next layer. So if we look at humans and animals, it's telling us there's an intermediary, something that exists today, that is in between, has some of the features of animals and some of the features of humans. You might ask, well, does it name what that is? In fact, it does. The Arisal, the father of modern uh, Kabbalah, says that intermediary is the Kuf, often translated as apes or monkeys. He wrote this down 300 years before anybody in science ever th thought of it. So what we're being told by Torah is that things, there's a process that God followed from rocks to vegetation to animals to humans, and that in fact apes have some characteristics that are like animals and some like are humans. So don't be surprised when you study the creation and look around that you're going to see that similarity. But it has nothing to do with evolution. It's a design. It's the way that God designed all these layers of reality. Music